So floor plan placement, CTS routing, extraction, sign off, design initialization, pre CTS. So <clears throat> anything which is a part uh, when the CTS is not done, it's like clock tree synthesis. So if you remember, I mentioned like uh, building a clock tree. If that is not done, that is a part of pre CTS. If that is done, it's a part of post CTS. Post route, once the routing is done, then everything is a part of a post route. When it comes to the after the RCX section, the timing and all those things, so those things is a part of a sign off and then the chip ready. So now what is going to happen, just give, I will give you a rough idea, then uh, in our, uh, we will discuss this, this particular part uh, once again. Design import like uh, the floor plan and everything you have imported and uh, whatever the information you have. Then you will create a floor plan or maybe you can just load a floor plan and at this particular stage you are going to do the timing so you are going to do the timing check so this is the very first level of timing check so before you are doing anything else you are going to do the timing check with the help of the fly lines whatever be the logic you have between the macros and you will see whether it is passing or not and then you will go in a pre-CTS uh, flow. So in a pre-CTS flow, what is there? Scan definition, placement of cells. is a placement we already talked about, like a standard cell placement. We will uh, do it here. And then again, we will do the timing check here. So now we have macros. We have standard cells. And uh, everything is connected with each other. But obviously, it's not the correct one. But uh, somehow they are connected and uh, our tool has certain information like, okay, what type of gate is there? What type of cell is there? How different standard cells are placed within the floor plan? And what is the um, distance between the two communicating blocks or the two communicating cell? On the basis of that, uh, we are going to do the timing analysis. Now, if at this particular stage, something will fail, we will go back and we will do the placement once again. If it passes, then we will go in the next stage. This is a post CTS. That means now we are going to do the CTS basically. So we will do the clock tree synthesis. We will build the clock tree. And after the clock tree, again, we will do the same thing. So the, till now, the clock tree was not there. It's the ideal. Now the clock tree is there. So in the clock tree, there are uh, two things we are doing. Uh, we are routing the clock because in the sense all the what type of metal we are going to use the width of the metal the type of buffers and everything that's a part of a clock tree so we will do that particular part and again now because now uh, i have more accurate information i will i just want to make sure like okay there is a no timing gap at this particular stage if the timing fail we will go back fix it if it passes, then we will do the routing, the data routing. And then again, I will check, fail, I will go back, pass, then the sign off, sign off in the sense, here, I'm going to do the metal fail. Uh, we will discuss little bit about like, uh, what is a metal fail, what is the requirement of that, and how it is going to impact our timing analysis. Physical verification, we will do all those uh, DRC, LVS check. And then again, we will do once again that sign of timing check. If it fail, we will go back, we will fix it. If it is okay, then that means our chip is ready for tape out. So this is a very simple flow, the physical design flows. That means whatever you are doing in a backend side, you can do the timing analysis and you have to fix if there is any violation. We will discuss each and every thing uh, in detail, like uh, the pre-CTS, what are the challenges and how we are going to fix it. Post-CTS, what, what type of violation we can fix and how we are going to fix, what are the different methods uh, are there. Post-route, uh, what are the things. The metal fail, how it is going to affect. So everything we are going to discuss in this particular course. But the point is, this is basically a timing check flow in the backend side. Like our uh, 
Facebook page, YouTube channel for more such updates. Thank you for watching. Be expert, buy expert. Best of luck.